Hey guys, it's uh, Rick Baxter, and I thought I would do one more video here on quality control, and this has to do with the why. Uh, I've shown you in past videos how to set up quality control. I've shown you how to do a test of the item to be sure it passes, but I want to show you the sales side. What happens when you're selling an item and you're getting ready to ship that item to a customer? How do you pick the right inventory item for that customer to be sure that it falls within the specifications that either that customer or you have, as a company has set up for your uh, quality control measures. So let me take this should not be a very long video. And let me just take you through uh, some concepts. So I'm going to open up sales orders. So this is a list of sales orders and I'm not going to do a new one. I'm just going to show you an existing sales order and talk about some of the concepts here. So on the sales order, this is for an Ethernet cable. I think you've seen this uh, demonstrated in some of the other videos. Let me up, open up the uh, line here where we can see related information. And there's two options. I want to call your attention to these two options. Item tracking lines and QC choose lot number serial number. I recommend this one for those of you that have the quality control granule so that you can actually choose the lot number rather than just entering the lot number or having the the, the guy that picks the order um, tell you what lot number he has selected. You may want to actually instruct them to pick a specific lot that meets the specifications that you want. Here's how that's done. So let's go into this choose lot serial number option here. And the key is this uh, ellipse button right here where on the lot number you can select this. Now because I've already selected one it doesn't have as many on the list here but you'll start to see this as you're using the software. This is a list of all the lot numbers that are available to pick. So you're kind of picking from the list of what lot number you want to ship to the customer. And notice we show you several things here. First of all, is does the item have specifications? So we identify that. If the item has tests and they exist, that's going to be checked. If there's customer-specific tests, uh, uh, specs, and then tests, those are going to show up here. And then if the item is non-conforming, that would be checked here as well. So you're really looking for where it, right here it's going to say um, it's a yes that it's been tested and it's good to go. So you're really looking in this compliance field to see whether you want to ship this particular lot number to the clients. Okay, so this is where you would select right here. You would say, okay, and that would return that value. Now, in this particular sales order, I've already selected uh, the lot number, so that's in here. But I just wanted you to see this part of the document and the ability to kind of specify this lot number up front with the sales order so that when you print your picking document, that lot number pr prints on the picking document so that the person that is picking the item for the shipment knows what lot number to go and find when they're shipping it to your customer. Very important part. Okay, now there's a second part to this, which is the posted documents. We wanted to make it easy for you on any partially posted. And I think on this order, this is a good example. Let me come over here and just check. Yeah, see, I've already shipped uh, six of the ten. I haven't invoiced it yet, but I've shipped six of the ten. I've got four remaining of this particular item to ship to the customer. So that means I have a shipment document out there. So I can navigate okay, to my history and it's actually to my documents. There it is. Okay, it's under documents and you can see the shipment documents from here. So this is a recording of the shipped documents for this order. Okay, let's just bring this up on the screen. So I'm going to open this up. Now the same thing kind of happens here is that you can actually um, 
me just go to the line. Yeah, this is where I can see the item tracking entries for this uh, six cables that have been shipped. Because often I think what you're going to want to do is be able to review, okay, review what has been shipped. There's an action here to view the, Q, uh, the QC results and actually kind of drill back to the original test. I think it's nice to be able to come to this QC posted compliance view and, and view the original test. And that's just a link. So these are the, the actual results of the test. And you can link to it. Just we hover over it and you'll see you can click it. And then here is the test. It passed. So this is the uh, final uh, test. And something else that you might want to do from this test Let's see, calling a last header. Um, actually, this is not quite what I wanted. Hold on. Okay, there it is. So I, I was looking for the, uh, the, uh, uh, the certificate analysis. I think oftentimes you'll want to print that. So just come to reports, and you can reprint the C of A at any time. This is really nice. So here's the quality uh, header, and let's just preview this. So this is for test number seven. And you see right there on screen, that is the original document that uh, where you did the uh, test. And these are the test results right in this column here. This is where the uh, supervisor typically has signed off. So I wanted to show you that you can kind of navigate from, the, um, from a sales order on the posted documents right back to the original C of A. Uh, without, you know, so even people in the shipping department that don't have quality control installed should be able to get right to this information as well. So an extra little tip from uh, us here at Cost Control Software. Hope you're starting to get your uh, quality control set up. Of course, if you have any questions about that product, how it works, or need some uh, maybe one-on-one -on -one support work or whatever, we're always happy to have you call and see if we can help you uh, really utilize this to the full extent in your business. So uh, reach out anytime to give us a call. Our numbers are in all of your user manuals. Thanks so much.